Welcome to the official Global RPH YouTube channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest videos. Whether you're looking for medical insights, the latest healthcare trends, or just some fun educational content, there's definitely something here for you. This video provides a comprehensive review of current scientific evidence on the relationship between vitamin D levels and neuropsychiatric outcomes. With the growing interest in the non-skeletal roles of vitamin D, recent research has turned its focus to the vitamin's role in brain development, neurotransmission, neuroprotection, and inflammation, factors that may influence mental health. We explore the biological mechanisms through which vitamin D may affect central nervous system function, including its involvement in regulating neurotrophic factors, modulating immune responses, and maintaining neuronal calcium balance. These pathways suggest a probable role for vitamin D in the prevention and management of various psychiatric and neurological disorders. The video assesses findings from observational studies, randomized controlled trials, and meta-analyses that investigate the association between vitamin D deficiency and conditions such as depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and cognitive decline. While the evidence varies in strength across different conditions, many studies report a correlation between low vitamin D levels and increased risk or severity of neuropsychiatric symptoms. In addition to examining the relationship between deficiency and disease risk, the video discusses the possible therapeutic benefits of vitamin D supplementation. We analyze data on dosage, treatment duration, and patient populations most likely to benefit, while also addressing limitations in current evidence and the need for further research. Common clinical questions such as when to test vitamin D levels, how to interpret results, and whether supplementation should be part of routine mental health care are also addressed, with guidance based on current clinical practice and research consensus. Vitamin D, commonly known as the sunshine vitamin, is traditionally recognized for its essential role in calcium absorption and bone metabolism. However, growing evidence now points to its broader physiological impact, particularly in the central nervous system. This video examines the evolving understanding of vitamin D as a neuroactive hormone and its likely implications for brain function and mental health. Vitamin D receptors and the enzyme responsible for activating vitamin D called 1-alpha-hydroxylase, are widely distributed throughout the brain, especially in regions involved in mood regulation, memory, and executive function, like the hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, and hypothalamus. This distribution suggests a functional role for vitamin D in maintaining neurological health and modulating neurochemical pathways, including those related to serotonin, dopamine, and glutamate. Several clinical and observational studies have linked low serum vitamin D levels to a range of neuropsychiatric disorders, including depression, anxiety, cognitive decline, and even neurodevelopmental conditions such as autism spectrum disorder. While causality remains under investigation, the association between vitamin D deficiency and increased risk of mood disorders is consistent across multiple populations and age groups. Mechanistically, vitamin D appears to influence brain health through several pathways, reducing neuroinflammation, protecting against oxidative stress, supporting neurogenesis, and regulating calcium homeostasis in neurons. These actions may contribute to its observed benefits in both preventing and possibly alleviating psychiatric symptoms. This video aims to provide healthcare professionals with a comprehensive and up-to-date overview of the relationship between vitamin D and neuropsychiatric outcomes. It highlights key findings from recent research, explores possible mechanisms of action, and discusses current recommendations for vitamin D assessment and supplementation in clinical practice. As the field continues to evolve, understanding the role of vitamin D in brain health could enhance preventive strategies and therapeutic approaches for mental health disorders. Vitamin D plays an essential role in brain development and function. Its receptor, known as VDR, and the enzyme that activates vitamin D are widely expressed throughout the brain, indicating a direct influence on neuronal activity and brain health. 
Emerging evidence highlights several neurobiological functions of vitamin D, including neurotransmitter synthesis and release, which influences dopamine, serotonin, and acetylcholine systems. It also supports neuroplasticity and neurogenesis, helping the brain adapt and form new neurons. Additionally, vitamin D provides neuroprotection by reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, both of which are implicated in neurodegenerative disorders. And of course, it helps regulate calcium signaling in neurons, which is really critical for synaptic transmission and cell survival. These mechanisms provide a biological foundation for the link between vitamin D status and neuropsychiatric outcomes, including mood disorders and cognitive decline. Numerous observational studies have explored the relationship between vitamin D levels and cognitive performance. A meta-analysis of 26 studies revealed that individuals with vitamin D deficiency are at a substantially higher risk of cognitive impairment, particularly affecting executive function and processing speed. Longitudinal research also suggests that persistently low vitamin D levels may contribute to an increased risk of cognitive decline in dementia. While these findings are compelling, they remain largely associative, and further well-designed clinical trials are needed to determine causality. Vitamin D and Mental Health Disorders Depression is one of the most extensively studied mental health disorders in relation to vitamin D. A systematic review and meta-analysis of 31 studies found a remarkable association between low vitamin D levels and depression. The analysis showed that individuals with depression had lower vitamin D levels compared to healthy controls. Intervention studies have yielded mixed results. Some randomized controlled trials have shown improvements in depressive symptoms with vitamin D supplementation, while others have found no notable effect. The variability in results may be due to differences in study design, dosage, and baseline vitamin D levels of participants. Anxiety. The relationship between vitamin D and anxiety disorders is less clear. Some observational studies have reported an association between low vitamin D levels and increased anxiety symptoms. However, the evidence from intervention studies is limited and inconsistent. A small randomized controlled trial did find that vitamin D supplementation reduced anxiety symptoms in patients with premenstrual syndrome. Still, larger studies are needed to confirm these findings and explore the potential benefits of vitamin D supplementation for anxiety disorders. Schizophrenia. Recent evidence suggests a possible link between vitamin D deficiency and schizophrenia. A meta-analysis of observational studies found that individuals with schizophrenia had significantly lower vitamin D levels compared to healthy controls. Some researchers have proposed that vitamin D deficiency during critical periods of brain development may increase the risk of schizophrenia later in life. However, the exact mechanisms and causal relationships remain unclear. Potential therapeutic applications. The expanding evidence connecting vitamin D to neuropsychiatric health has sparked growing interest in its therapeutic potential across a range of mental health and cognitive disorders. Current research is exploring several key areas. For depression, vitamin D supplementation is being studied as an adjunctive treatment with early findings suggesting that correcting deficiency may enhance mood and support standard antidepressant therapies, particularly in individuals with low baseline levels. Regarding cognitive decline and dementia, low vitamin D levels have been associated with an increased risk of cognitive impairment and dementia. Ongoing studies are evaluating whether supplementation can serve as a preventive strategy to preserve cognitive function in aging populations and reduce the incidence or progression of neurodegenerative diseases. When it comes to psychotic disorders, there is rising interest in the role of vitamin D during early stages of these conditions. Some studies suggest that deficiency in critical developmental periods may contribute to the onset of conditions such as schizophrenia, prompting investigations into whether early vitamin D intervention can mitigate risk or improve long-term outcomes. Despite encouraging preliminary data, the clinical utility of vitamin D in neuropsychiatric care remains uncertain. Large-scale, well-designed trials are still needed to confirm its efficacy, determine optimal dosing, 
and establish safety profiles for diverse patient populations. Until then, vitamin D supplementation should be considered within the broader context of evidence-based treatment plans, especially in individuals with documented deficiency. Next, we'll discuss some of the challenges and limitations that should be kept in mind when interpreting the evidence on vitamin D and neuropsychiatric outcomes. First, causality is a significant issue. Most studies are observational, which makes it pretty tough to establish clear causal relationships. Then, there are confounding factors to consider. Various factors, including sunlight exposure, diet, and overall health status, can influence vitamin D levels. Measurement issues also come into play, since different methods of measuring vitamin D levels can lead to inconsistent results across studies. When it comes to dosage and duration, the optimal amount and length of vitamin D supplementation for neuropsychiatric benefits aren't yet well established. And finally, there's individual variability. The effects of vitamin D may differ depending on genetic factors, age, and a person's baseline vitamin D status. Future research should aim to overcome these current limitations and help us better understand the relationship between vitamin D and neuropsychiatric outcomes. One crucial step is to conduct large-scale, long-term, randomized controlled trials. These robust RCTs are essential for establishing a causal link between vitamin D status and mental health outcomes. Plus, they should work to determine the optimal dosing regimens, treatment durations, and target populations for supplementation. Another key area is to elucidate the underlying biological mechanisms. By investigating how vitamin D influences brain development, neurotransmission, inflammation, and neuroplasticity, we'll get a clearer picture of its role in neuropsychiatric conditions like depression, anxiety, and cognitive decline. It's also important to examine nutrient interactions. Future studies should look at how vitamin D interacts with other micronutrients, such as omega-3 fatty acids, B vitamins, and magnesium, since these combinations might affect mental health outcomes. Additionally, exploring genetic and epigenetic influences could provide insight into individual susceptibility to deficiency-related mental health risks, especially by looking at genetic polymorphisms that affect vitamin D metabolism and receptor function. Epigenetic factors might play a role here too. Finally, developing personalized supplementation strategies is crucial. A precision medicine approach that takes into account individual risk factors, like baseline vitamin D levels, genetic predispositions, lifestyle, and comorbid conditions, can really help optimize supplementation and improve therapeutic outcomes. Altogether, these research priorities are going to support the development of evidence-based, individualized strategies for preventing and managing neuropsychiatric disorders through vitamin D optimization. Emerging research continues to highlight a significant association between vitamin D levels and neuropsychiatric outcomes, including mood disorders, cognitive decline, and neurodevelopmental conditions. Although definitive causal pathways have yet to be fully established, vitamin D appears to play a role in brain health through its involvement in neuroimmune regulation, neuroinflammation, and neurotransmitter function. Given these findings, healthcare professionals should remain informed about the possible impact of vitamin D status on mental health and cognitive performance. Evaluating vitamin D levels may be a valuable component of comprehensive assessments in patients with neuropsychiatric symptoms, particularly in at-risk populations. However, while vitamin D supplementation shows promise, it should not be viewed as a standalone treatment. Any intervention must be considered within the broader context of individualized patient care. Current evidence does not yet support routine high-dose supplementation for neuropsychiatric conditions without confirmed deficiency. Ongoing studies are essential to clarify optimal dosing strategies, identify target populations, and establish clear clinical guidelines. Until then, a cautious, evidence-informed approach to vitamin D use in neuropsychiatry is warranted. Frequently Asked Questions Question 1. Can vitamin D deficiency cause depression? While there is an association between low vitamin D levels and depression, a causal relationship has not been definitively established. 
More research is needed to determine if vitamin D deficiency directly causes depression. Question 2. How much vitamin D should I take for mental health benefits? There is no established dosage specifically for mental health benefits. General recommendations for vitamin D intake vary, but most health organizations suggest 600 to 800 international units per day for adults. Always consult with a healthcare provider before starting any supplementation regimen. Question 3. Can vitamin D supplementation replace antidepressants? No, vitamin D supplementation should not be used as a replacement for prescribed antidepressants. It may be considered as an adjunctive treatment, but only under the guidance of a healthcare professional. Question 4. Are there any risks associated with taking vitamin D supplements? While vitamin D is generally safe, excessive intake can lead to toxicity, causing symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and kidney problems. It's important to follow recommended dosages and consult with a healthcare provider. Question 5. Can sunlight exposure improve my vitamin D levels and mental health? Sunlight exposure can increase vitamin D production in the skin. However, the relationship between sunlight exposure and mental health is complex and may involve other factors beyond vitamin D, such as circadian rhythm regulation. Thanks for watching our Global RPH production. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our brand new YouTube channel. We're bringing you a dynamic mix of content across a variety of topics, so there's always something fresh, engaging, and insightful just for you. Your support means the world to us. It helps us grow and keep delivering exciting, high-value content. Stay tuned, because the best is yet to come.